Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to the Players Review or Players Show for Football Manager FC. I've got my geek on today, got my Hogwarts tea on, and as you'll be able to see in the background, a five second each shot of every single player should be going past you right now. So we're starting off with the goalkeepers, going through the defence, into the midfield, and also the attackers. Every single person who put a comment in a previous video saying that they wanted to be part of it had to leave their name, nationality, optional, so name, best position and top five attributes and the series is loosely based on the emulating Messi and emulating Ronaldo series you may well have seen on Golden FM's channel, the guy's a legend. He's even part of the series. I think his name will be flashing past any moment now. But yeah, that is what it's going to be loosely based upon. So you had your best five attributes. What I then did is put those attributes onto the editor at a 20 rating. The rest of the attributes were left as blank. So whatever you see on the screen has all been done by the FM editor. Nothing to do with me. I left the rest of the attributes blank. I put your best position in. And that was it. Didn't put any preferred moves, nothing along those lines, just left pretty much everything on the rest of it blank. Um, if people wanted an option of nationality, you should be able to see some of these guys on here have got like Maltese and Scottish and all that kind of stuff like that. Um, that was an optional thing. But yeah, so that is what's going to be going above your head right now. So that's pretty cool. What I'm then going to do at the end of all of this is review everything just to see how... Um, the overall squad is looking, who's our best player, who's the highest value, who's on the most wages, who's got the best potential. I mean, who, sh you know, who should have the best potential? Everyone should be at blank, everyone should have uh, the same potential. Because what I've done is I've got everybody starting off at a rating of 80 and a potential ability of 200. So you can be as good as you want to be. If your player puts in enough effort, gets enough game time, etc., they could go on to be the next best player. So it is going to be a complete lottery as to who makes it. But gradually, you know, if you've got a minus two, you know, if you've got a 200 potential ability, you should be going through these leagues pretty quickly. Whether or not it's with us or whether or not it's with somebody else, what, some of these players are going to get snapped up. Now, my biggest problem is that I've got. 40 players to select from the beginning so some of you guys are going to be loaned out now i don't know if you you, you have seen my my sort of thing go past now my character dj fm that player is shit so i'm loaning him the hell out he's going out he needs to toughen up so don't be too discouraged if your player is loaned out the reason why you're going to be loaned out is because you need to get better and if you think about it, if I've got a big squad like I do right now, I'm only going to be selecting between, you know, I'd probably say about 15 to 20 matches, possibly 25 matches each player is going to get. You go out alone, you're going to get at least 50 games a year, depending on what club you go to. You're going to be gaining more experience by being out alone and then come back stronger for the second season. So. You know, don't be too disheartened. And when some of the bigger players like get sold on, or whatever the case may be, you're going to jump right in there. You've all got a mind. You've all got a, sorry, a 200 potential ability. So all of you can be as good as what you wanted to be. Um, and I know some people are going to drop a dislike as soon as their players loaned out. That's fine. But I've got to keep the whole squad happy. But I'm not going to make any decisions on on the loan side of things until I see how every player performs during preseason. I'm going to select as many preseason games as I possibly can, um, give everyone a chance, see who's actually a decent player, and then kind of make a decision from there. But I think the players are rattled around now, and I think it should just be me talking to you guys. So uh, let's go back into FM now, and we'll have an overall look at the actual squad. So here we are, we're in the game, and it's time to see who is the best potential player in our squad. You'll be able to see on here, the majority of people are of an English nationality. We've got a few random ones in here, for example. Dupe is uh, from South Africa. I don't know if that's actually the case in real life, but you've got likes of Owen, BT, Mark, and McGilvery. 
Hello everyone and welcome back to Yeah, McGilvery FM, the Scottish blocks in there. You got Dave as a party, proud Maltese man. He had to select himself as that. You've got Lucas Cook who's decided to be uh, Moldavian, which is pretty interesting. And Adamski Clarkinho, who's Italian. Uh, just Mike plays his Gibraltar, but the rest of us are English. Now, in terms of a best value, who is the current value? Football Manager Zone is the most valued player. He is on a two and a half grand contract, so I would imagine he'll be on the most as well. But that is some pretty decent stats. So valued at 825 grand already at the age of 17 years old. That's absolutely mad. And then you've got the likes of um, Alex Malloy. So another centre back. So we're pretty set on those two, um, you would think, in terms of being the starting two. You've got Matt Slater. You've got Mark Gribben as also up there. And the first... Sorry, not first, but you know, in terms of full manager players, in terms of uh, actual YouTubers, there's not very many up there. Not very, very many of our top YouTubers are at the, you know, at the top there. You got Mark, Cultured Left Foot, AP, uh, Golden FM's down there. Um, plays for, you know, Chile. Interesting choice, mate. Oh, you know, not going to knock it. Um, but yeah, so you guys are the most valuable in terms of contracts. Who is going to be on the most? It looks pretty set. Um, no, Mark's actually the most, uh, most in terms of wages, 2,800 for this league. Damn, son. Damn. We've got, again, FM Zone, Alex Malloy, Matt Slater, so fairly routine on there. Kind of represents the more value you have, obviously, the better contract you're on. In terms of contract expiries, we've got um, everybody in 2018, except from Mark. Who the most right? So the most expensive contract I'm gonna have to renew first. That's great. Cheers, Mark. Thanks a lot for that, buddy. Um, other than that, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, anything else we can check at? Um, stat. Well, there's nothing to check. Attributes. Let's have a look at some of this stuff. This might be quite cool. Um, who's got the best reflexes out of the goalkeepers? It's DRK. In terms of defensive attributes, who who's the strongest at this young age? Is Cam Clark our goalkeeper? Wow, that just about says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> oh god, we're in trouble. Um, Alan Connolly, Owen Beatty. I really like the look of Owen. His stats. I think it's is it Owen or Ewan? We'll go with Ewan. Let me know. Owen or Ewan? No, it is Ewan, isn't it? It's not Owen. It's Ewan. Ewan Beatty. Sorry, mate. Um, your stats look insane. Absolutely insane. You're going to be a proper, proper ball winning midfielder. That is going to be absolute class to see you in there. Um, in terms of tackling, who's the best tackler? Dave has a party. Get stuck in there, son. That's what I want to see. Midfield wise, uh, let's go for technical. Who's the best passer? We've got a lot of people who like to get on the ball, including myself. But, as I mentioned before, some shocking stats. I'm only valued at 170 grand. I wouldn't mind being on 725 quid a week. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, the rest of them. I mean, strength for five, um, off the ball six, composure seven. There's some pretty shocking stats in there. I'll do a decent job in terms of being a right back, but I'm not going to set the world alight. Um, let's have a look. Who's the best crosser? FM star. Dave has a party. AP football. There's quite a few guys of you on there. Who's the best at taking corners? The anchor man, FM star, Dave has a party. So you guys are going to be on responsibility due for that. Who's the best finisher? It's obviously bound to be one of the strikers. But who's got the best finishing ability? Fried Badger. Wow. Nicely done. Best finisher is going to be Fried Badger at 18. But anyway, that's enough of that. I've rambled on for far too long. Um, let's cut the video short there. So that is the squad. As I said, it's going to be cut down quite a bit now um, in terms of loan players. But what I'm going to do is I'm now going to organise a shed ton of friendlies to try and get everyone up to speed. I want to see who's a good player, who's going to get better over the friendlies. I'm going to put it against a mixed match of teams, so some good teams, some bad teams, some average teams. I'm going to play a lot of friendlies. And then what I'll do is I'll come back for the first game of the season. It's at home against newly promoted Grimsby. So that's going to be a great game to come to. So join me then for the first match of the season. It's going to be good. I'm hoping this series is going to be amazing. Your guys' support is going to be vital on this. And yeah, 
Thank you very much for watching the players video. You guys have been amazing. And until next time, adios.